Alrighty, what is going on guys? It is Nick here today bringing you guys another video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can change your Java version to the latest, which I believe the latest right now is Java 16, and I will include a download link uh, down below because it seems like these Java versions are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, if you just search up Java 16 download in Google, it's, I, I don't know, it took me like 10 minutes. So, you know, there's all kinds of different sites where you can download it. So you want to be sure you get the correct version, which I will just include a download link down in the description. So you guys don't have to worry about that. But um, so yeah, once you have installed Java 16, I believe it's 16.0.1 right now, I'll try to keep it uh, as the latest link down below, but no promises. But basically, if we go ahead and open our Minecraft launcher, uh, you're going to see Optifine or whatever, you know, maybe it's just regular latest release for you, whatever it might be, whatever you play on. Um, and one thing to note while doing this is that currently Forge has a glitch with the latest Java versions. I believe if you're going to use Forge, you have to use Java 8. Um, I don't know if that's 100% because I swear I've used like Java 9 and stuff on Forge, but I don't know. It just seems like it never works for me, and I've looked it up on GitHub and stuff, and people are saying there's some sort of glitch with like Forge and the Minecraft launcher, so I haven't gotten Forge to work with the new Java versions, but if you are on like Optifine or like the latest release or even a mod pack that's not using Forge, uh, it should work fine. So I'll show you how to go ahead and change the Java version version of whatever thing in your launcher you're trying to uh, use the latest Java version on. And also, this should be noted that uh, you cannot use the latest Java version on things like Badline Client or Lunar Client. Um, don't use Badline Client at all to begin with, to be honest with you. But yeah, you cannot use the latest Java version on those. They keep a bundled version of Java that's always going to launch with those because otherwise you'd be able to, you know, inject things like hacks and stuff. So uh, that does make sense. And, you know, if there is a modded launcher, some of them may allow you to change the Java version and it should be the same process as this. So so if we click more options here, it's going to say Java arguments. This is not related at all. I mean, this is just, you know, or JVM arguments, Java virtual machine arguments. Leave this alone unless you know what you're doing. This is just to edit your RAM. What you want to look at is Java executable right here. So if we click browse, it's going to take us to where my Java is installed. And uh, it should be the same for most of you. If you're on a Mac, unfortunately, I don't think I can help you with this. Um, I don't really know where it's where it installs on Mac, but um, if you can figure that out, it's literally the same process as Windows uh, once you figure out the path to your Java. So you would want to start at local disk C, go into program files, find Java, open that, and then you should see JDK 16.0.1. And this is a Java development kit. This is not a JRE, which is Java runtime environment. Um, for some reason, they're not really making those for these latest versions of Java, probably because most people aren't seeking them out. But let me tell you, if you have newer hardware, these newer versions of Java, they are a lot smoother. Like I was getting micro stutters and stuff on the bundled version of Java, and I was just like, what is going on? I tried Java 16. My new uh, computer loves it. So I think that everybody that's using a even semi sort of um, new computer should definitely switch to Java 16. And it might work well on older ones too. I don't really know. But um, once you find your JDK folder, go into bin and select Java W and just click open. And your path should look something like this. Now click save and then launch whatever you just changed, you know, whichever profile you just changed to Java 16. And I'll show you how you can actually confirm that it's running on Java 16 too. Now, this seems like a really basic thing, but a lot of people don't know that this is even possible. Sorry if you can hear my uh, computer. That is one thing about the Alienwares. They they start to sound like jet engines when they're loading up any sort of game, but uh, that should stop here shortly. So let's go ahead and create a new world. I would show you on like a server, but honestly, you know, you know how servers are with FPS and stuff like that. I want to show you guys, you know, how much different it is because I was getting super like super bad lag and stuff on my Minecraft before I did this and this has changed at least on vanilla for some reason the Java 8 that runs with Lunar Client doesn't seem to bother my PC but uh, whenever I launch Minecraft with the bundled one on 
uh, you know, regular Minecraft, it always gives me issues. So as you can see, I have shaders and stuff on. If we press F3, you can see that it says in the top right corner, Java 16.0.164 bit. That's exactly what yours should say, unless you're on a 32 bit system, it might say 32 bit, but most systems these days are going to be 64. So yeah, I hope I helped you guys out. Um, if you guys want to see more tutorials and stuff like this, just helping you optimize your Minecraft and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments. I would love to do more videos like this. Anyways, guys, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and favorite. We'll see you next video and adios.